Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson with a quick update. A strengthening storm in Polk County right now, meandering its way through a little bit more development showing up on the radar. What you need to know in this version of Hutch's now, Weather. A Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson, brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. As is always the case, please drop me a question if you're watching on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Hit the subscribe button. And on Facebook, please go ahead and click the follow button. Let's get going with what's going on right now. And again, you can get the latest on Hutchesweather.com anytime, anywhere. A couple more storms starting to fire up here. Anything up to the north here has a little bit more energy to work with. I've been talking about that the last couple of days. A little bit of isolated cell will cover down here in parts of Cass County right now. Let's get in on the latest warning. Heading into western parts parts of Pennington County and western parts of Red Lake County eventually. See this little backwards uh, hook here? It's kind of like a finger or a hook going around. A little bit of weak spin or shear associated with this storm in this particular area. Quite an abundant amount of lightning as well as this storm is working its way to the southeast at a fairly slow clip. Here's the latest, 17 miles per hour, gully wash and rain. We'll take that. That's not too bad, although those crops are, well, it's high time for bringing them in uh, for many of those grains out there as well so you don't necessarily want wet crops out there but again eventually we definitely don't want this hail 60 mile per hour gusts and one and one half inch diameter hail the possibility from this cell and again moving off to the southeast at 17 miles per hour let's go ahead and track this puppy for you here is the heaviest core of rain. Notice it's way out here, but this is the core right back here. So we'll look at that with the hail and see and show you where that's heading as we uh, move it off to the east. I'm going to redo that. That, uh, for whatever reason, wasn't too happy with Hutch. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> now, moving off to the southeast, we're putting it at, up there at about 22, 23 miles per hour. It stays over rural portions of northwest Polk County, uh, the very southwestern sliver of Pennington County, and the south, uh, excuse me, western sliver of Red Lake County. Cindy, good to have you on board. Just thunder out there is what you're hearing. It doesn't mean it's raining in all these areas. That's just, just getting picked up by the radar there. Let me show you what I am concerned about, though. This storm does show just some weak motion uh, and rotation with it as well. Let me go ahead and highlight that for you. So in the area on the south side of the storm, where we did see that little bit of hook, we do have some green, meaning motion toward the radar, next to some reds. The reds are not strong, so it's not tight rotation that's going on here at this particular time. But there is some uh, evidence of some wind wrapping in and around the backside of the storm right here and it is associated in the same place as we did have that uh, hook echo. The enhanced winds that will be associated with these storms will likely be coming from this part of the storm where we did see the pinks on the radar display. And that's where those heavy hail cores are on their way. This is all getting ready to make its way over the rotating part of the storm over the Highway 75 corridor to the north of Crookston. How far to the north you say? Well let me get out my uh, tracking tool here and we'll go ahead and let you know that that core, that rotating core, is just off to the north and north northwest of Crookston by 14 and a half miles. So north of the airport yet is where that storm exists at this particular time. So heed the, the warnings on this one. This is a dangerous one. Oh, the, the spin is getting a little bit stronger. See the bright greens here? And then we do have some uh, enhancements uh, on the other side over here of the reds as well. So uh, a little bit of spin just off to the east of Grand Forks and northwest parts of Polk County. That doesn't mean a tornado's on the ground. There's no tornado warning, but that is a rotating and organized thunderstorm, and that's the key to that particular one. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's heading its way in toward the northern reaches of northern Cass County and northern Clay County right now in the southern Red River Valley, and here is a look at that. Now we'll go to the single site radar data. Right over Arthur is a thunderstorm with some lightning working its way through, rumbles of thunder, and at least some small hail potential from this particular cell. And we take a look at those cells I can show you. Ah, that its movement is generally off to the east, and that movement is going to take it right into Arthur here now. So the heaviest core of rain and hail is on its way to Arthur. The probability of some hail is high. It's 80% but the size is under one half inch. So as you know, that's not very big hail, 
but if it falls on your crop, it's still no fun, particularly if it's wind driven. So this storm again, moving off to the east, 24 miles per hour, heading right toward the I-94 corridor. So here's the leading edge of the hail core with this one, 24 miles per hour. There we go, puts it into the Arthur area. Now Georgetown, it's gonna be working its way towards you by 1053. Gardner and Argusville, you're gonna be uh, pretty close to that storm, but it's hovered at the same intensity level for the last little bit. Now let's go up north here, northern and central parts of Marshall County, Strathcona, Middle River, all the way towards Strandquist and New Fold. And here we have a hail core that's heading its way out this way. Small hail, but nonetheless. Ryland, thanks so much for watching. G loves gorillas. I think Mother Nature is teasing us again. Not all of us are going to see thunderstorms. That's the way these things go. So that's what's going on. At Home with Carmen says, be sure to like this video by hitting that thumbs up button. Oh, wow. That is a way to support Hutch's weather. So thank you very much for sharing that with your friends and tag a friend on these videos. So here's the bottom line. At, up here, there's a cold front making its way through. I can show you exactly where that is, and I've been talking about this on my updates, but anywhere that wind is shifted to a northwesterly direction, not much of a risk of these storms being uh, that severe. So we see the west and northwest little arrows here. They're hard to see on your screen. I understand that. But our winds here in Fargo are still from the south. Now, we're going to keep our eyes on the storms. There is a volatile atmosphere, a lot of moisture and a lot of energy, but there's also what we call a cap. A rising parcel of air kind of gets stopped at that cap, has a hard time forming. Not seeing a lot of widespread activity. It looks at this particular juncture like we're going to see just these spotty thunderstorms, but there's a chance between now and 11 that they could fill in. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson reminding you you can get the latest on Hutch's weather. Thanks to you for uploading photos. Check these out. Brand new photos just coming in of those beautiful clouds from a distance. Those clouds are really uh, glorious out there but with the setting sun behind them. You can see these little towers trying to go here on that uh, right side of this particular picture. So there's an updraft. Eh, didn't work. Another updraft. Eh, didn't work. This updraft worked. It got up to the cap, but not way up high in the atmosphere. That's from the Moorhead area, Johnson's Farms area. Thanks, Gerald. I appreciate you taking the time to share your photos and check out this puppy right here. More of the same as we take a look at Kara. Look at these little, uh, little towers of rising pockets of air. Then you get that sun and it's casting a shadow. That's what you're seeing there. Just absolutely stunning. So that's what's going on. Now, if you do happen to get hail, take a picture like this one here and maybe put a ruler next to it so we know the diameter of that hail size. That's always helpful, helpful indeed. Now, that's a quick look at what's going on right now. Again, I'll remind you, hutchesweather.com is a great one-stop shopping for all the weather information you need. Right above my melon here, there's a gear. And on that gear, you can enter your location or you can allow my site to track your device's location. And if a storm approaches you, you'll know then whether it's warned or not right here on Hutch's Weather. For now, I'm going to go grab some dinner. It's been a very busy day and I hope you stay, well, stay alert today. If storms form in your area, I'll let you know if they're severe. Otherwise, you have yourself a wonderful evening. Deb, good to see you. What's up with you? Hope you're doing good. Thanks for watching. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Have a good evening, and we'll check back in a little bit later. And if you happen to be in northwest Polk County, watch out for some hail and winds, and make sure you let me know what you're seeing. Thanks so much.